Hi guys, this is Msani the Baba. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to say thank you so much guys for all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. All of you who have shared the last video that we posted. I really really appreciate it. So, today I want us to talk about how you guys view me and how and what you expect from me as a professional hairstylist, as a professional barber. And also the thing that I expect from you guys as my clients. I hope you're going to enjoy this video. Stay tuned. I bet my last, so give me my money. I paid my dues, I gave it a hundred. I give it my all, I just want my moment. Shine the ball to stay on the grind, that's how I'm on it. It's a beautiful life with a wonderful day. It's a hell of a night, going so hard, the devil a prey. Hi guys, Sunny the Barber and we are back. So the first thing I want to talk about is time. And this goes to clients. So if you set your appointment with your hairstylist, Ama your barber, now maybe may agree at a certain time, let's say may agree Satatu Mpaka Sunday. And and as as a as a as a, a hairstylist, ni uwa tayari ni meshajua like this client that chukua na labda wana. So when you ukichelewa for like 20 minutes 25 minutes and then umekuja kwa baba shop huja hakuna communication and then umekuja kwa baba umekuja kwa baba shop ama kwa salon uki expect to utapata ile service if i take you in that means as a stylist nime mess up siku yangu mzima kwa sababu nimejipa nimejipangilia according to najua huyu mtu anachukua naye wanao so the next client atakuja after some time so once nime nimekuanza late that means yule mwingine pia itabidi nime mwanza late na utapata siku yangu nzima ime 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 vurugika so to avoid that let's stick to the time ambao tumepewa na our stylist the next thing i want to talk about is confidence with your stylist so client amefika me keep time vizuri haya umeanza kutengeneza umeanza kumtengeneza sasa so huyu client remember huyu si first timer ni client ambao umemnyoa umemtengeneza for some time so all the time maybe una, unafanya job yako ambapo unajua kwamba umesha umesha explain ile style ambayo anataka ashaelewa kila kitu umeshajua kila kitu umeanza kazi yako nafika mahali mtu ana hebu ngoja kidogo anakutoa mkono waangalie ile kazi yako umefanya nini ah sawa endelea kwa kidogo amekukatisha so unapata vitu kama hizo ile wasiwasi ambao ambao mtu wako nao ina inatoa saiki ya yule stylist kikazi maelewa kwa sababu ni kama mbaye anajua what to do mmekuwa mkifanya kitu for so long with, with, with them and you always like it the, at, at the end of it we like it so unatoa ile morali kwa yule stylist wako so if we can also avoid that tuta, utapata unampatia yule mtu moral pia ya, ya kufanya kazi yake na, na freedom and utatoka kama umefurahia zaidi the next thing i want to talk about is phone calls during service um si mbaya ku receive phone calls it's okay but please if possible make it short and clear kwamba hey i mean ababa shop and call you back i mean if it's an emergency it's an emergency that's another, another case but unapata mtu you are, you are make, you are making their hair but ameshika simu hey boss yes ni nini 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 amekuja huko amemesha simu side ya huko yes ni amegeuza amekuja huko unapata mimi inanipatia hard time when i'm doing my work na pale unaweza pata naweza kukata and anything unaweza tingika kidogo maybe kati yako iende vibaya ama ile style ambayo uko unatengenezwa iende vibaya so utapata mtu mwingine ata opt kuzima mashine yake akungoje umalizane na phone calls so if it's not necessary 
please jaribu kupunguza hiyo time mingi kwa sababu uta save time yangu na pia mimi nita save time yako and nitakuwa pia akili yangu yote itakuwa pale kwenye ile kazi ambayo nakutengeneza yeah so that's it for the clients part now let's go back to us as stylist as barbers yeah first thing first usafi usafi wako wewe as a person usafi wako wa ndani ukitoka pale nyumbani make sure you smell good Uh, make sure ume, ume nguo zako ziko vizuri maybe zimepigwa pasi vizuri unajua ku maintain ile ile image kwa sababu pia wale client wanakuja pale kwako pia they look at you and hakuna mtu anataka kutengenezwa na mtu ambaye yuko rough ama yuko shag make sure your hair all the time it's neat um una smell vizuri pia majasho it's very important another thing is usafi wa your tools so it's very important kwanza kwa sababu siku hizi kuna infections some people have infections kwa nywele If possible eh, and this is for the, watu ambao wamezoea kunyoa alafu wanaweka mashine juu ya meza ama wanadungilia kwa msumari pale juu ya kio ya baba shop. Uh, it's very important if you can have the sterilizer. Sterilizer kuna mpaka za 5000 you can unaza changa. I mean watu wanaanzia chini but ni vitu ambazo if you you are, you are having a place ya kutengeneza watu it's very important to have. So your tools make sure they are always there sterilized ukianza client make sure umeosha mashine zako vizuri na surgical spirit ukimaliza pia umeosha umeziingiza pale wewe na workplace yako ndio itaongeza watu pia kwa ile business yako so make sure umemaliza kunyoa client ile area ambayo umefanyia kazi nywele zimetolewa every client ile seat squeeze kuna corona eh? make sure like here we we make, we sterilize after every client ametoka kwa seat we make sure we spray the surgical spirit and and clean with a clean towel make sure kila kitu kiko top notch another thing is um, apron why you should wear an uh, apron so mimi nilianza kuva apron i think 2015 nikiwa kwenye hii job yangu na maybe back then sikuwa naelewa the meaning kabisa ya why i should wear my apron but over the years ambapo nimekuwa nikifanya kazi nimekuja nime ku understand apron inasaidia sana kwa sababu unapata maybe umeenda na, na top yako ya white huko kazini na unafanya kazi so unapaka client die zile particles die zimerukia kwa nguo nimetupa nguo nyingi and to help you kusave your part try as much as possible to get yourself an apron pia ni, ni, ni inakupatia some good image kwa client wako unaka presentable unaka unajua wachini unafanya unaweza maybe tengeneza apron ambayo itakuwa maybe na some mfuko ambazo utakuwa una, una, unaweka like vichana so to make your work easier kuto ku move around But itakusaidia sana usafi ku avoid kuharibu nguo zako na na, na kuzuia zile nywele pia zifike kwa mwili kwa sababu sometimes nywele zinakushika zinaingia kwa mwili afu maybe ume sweat it's irritable so ku avoid hiyo pia ni vizuri ku you as a stylist as a baba to have your own apron i mean unaweza pata unaweza tengeneza apron tena 150 material uko na apron yako mzuri then job yako itakuwa sawa another thing is gloves gloves um pia mimi nikianza nilikuwa situmi gloves and Over the years nimekuja nikaona some hair hair sometimes ina, inadunga mpaka skin inaingia kwa skin ndani. So unapata to avoid all hizo vitu ama kwa kucha ndani eh umekatika labda uko na cut kidogo ile nywele ikiingia pale it forms some infections. So ku avoid hiyo pia always wear gloves. Alafu pia kuna corona sasa hii. So gloves always your apron and then you are good to go. Kazi itafanyika vizuri. Another thing is creativity. So Usijifunge akili sana na style moja kwa client kwa sababu unapata mtu hairstylist ababa ananyo the same style kwa client wote. Try kuwa ku, 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 ku versatile. Kuingiza style hii kesho uingiza hii. Jaribu hii yule client mpatie challenge pia kwa sababu kuna client ambao pia wana get comfortable over the years kwa sababu ni kitu umemzoesha, yule style umemzoesha. Try kumchallenge. Hey, let's, let's today let's try this thing. Kitu tofauti do researches i mean kuna youtube siku hizi kuna msanii the baba pale kwa kwa instagram angalia vitu ambazo tunafanya zile latest unajua ji upgrade pia ji challenge pia kwa sababu once you limit mali pamoja you will never grow utabaki kwa admire kati za watu wengine ama kazi za watu wengine because utaki kuji challenge you as a person so try kukuwa mtu ambaye off off work try kuchukua time yako mingi ku do researches i mean sisi pia tunatoa ideas kwa sababu i mean uweze zaliwa na hizi vitu zote kwa kili you need to do research because there's talent and there's hard work hard work is go out there angalia ile kitu ambayo iko latest kwenye market sasa hii watu wanafanya nini try to challenge yourself and tunashukuru baadaye another thing is um when you're working on on, on a client jaribu ku minimize um, stories i mean sometimes unaongea kuna watu ambao hapo kuna wale clients ambao wanataka utulivu yeye yeah, amekuja kwa shop not kuja kupiga story 
amekuja kwa shop because they want the service after the service waende nyumbani i mean ile time amekuwa busy kazini mambo ni mengi ile time ampata 30 minutes one hour yakuja kinyozi anataka kurelaxisha akili yake so try to help them watch hiyo hiyo part kwa sababu unapata mtu mwingine stories eh, stories hivi kaenda ikapanda ikashuka what a client has start the conversation if client ako sawa kuanzisha conversation let uh, be, be part of it but kama client na that that's the only way utajua mtu ambaye ni mtokative na mtu ambaye si mtokative i mean kama client ano, uh, ni mtu wa stories ataanzisha story na you will have good conversations but if not try as much as possible to concentrate with what you do achana na hizi mambo za story nyingi make sure your machines are always sharp zisiumize client nywele this is for the barbers Who is sharpen machine? These people who sharpens machine. And if you need to take a number ya mtu hapo chini pia kama unataka mtu akushapen machine akusaidie. But always make sure your machines are sharp kwa sababu zikiwa aziko sharp zinavuta nywele, unafanya yule client ayuko comfortable. So kumpati mpatie yule client vile nimesema it's a relaxation ni part ambayo mtu anataka kurelaxisha akili yake. So ifanye iwe 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 rahisi by make sure your tools are always on point. One more thing is hair at the back of the head ya client. Watu wengi wanatengeneza mtu and this is for the barbers. Umetengeneza mtu poa style umefocus sana na huku mbele ume make sure kati imeka kile lakini ukimwangalia mtu kwa shingo huku chini kuna nywele. So those are small details but very important kwa sababu mtu atakapokuwa anatembea barabara na kienda kionekana na nywele huku nyuma kazi yako ndio imeharibika. I mean umenyolewa wapi kwa msanii the barber? Mbona uko na nywele kwa shingo? Unajua? So try as much to be keen kuangalia zile parts ambazo maybe na shingo huku chini maybe umefunga mtu driver wakati ukimnyoa maybe ndevu kuna some hairs huo umezifunika so hata wakati ukishamaliza ile kati umetoa kile kitambaa jaribu kuangalia huku areas ambazo zimejificha especially kwa chingo chini na nyuma at the back that's it guys now it's time to do the practical So that's it guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've also learned something. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, also spread the word, share with people. Um, my Twitter, Instagram and Facebook handles are at Msani the Baba. Kindly follow. And if you want to book for a session with me, my number is down there. Call me and let's make you look amazing. Thank you so much and we're out.